once again in the glow of the atom. What comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion, constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it, or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. Now, everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. They've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name, a proud name, the Desert Rangers. Now Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. nor will he have ever died in vain or unavenged. Thank you, recruits. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate, too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a Desert Ranger.
Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been giving us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers specifically. It said it was coming for us. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the Desert Rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight-up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. There you go. Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger, and we won't let you in. The hard-ass approach, huh? Well, you might get what you want from some folks in the waste through intimidation, but it doesn't always work, particularly with old hard asses like myself. You want to kick down our doors? Go ahead, give it a try. But I ain't pissing myself just because you growled at me. Good luck out there, recruits. still here recruits i gave you your orders now go search the area where ace's body was found and recover his logbook and the repeater units good luck out there recruits
Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing, recruits? That's consecrated ground. Copy Echo One, appreciate the update. Echo One, mind picking up that can over there for me? Think there's some water in there. think I was serious about wanting that can. I just wanted the goat to hit you in the ass.
God damn it, Ace. You never should have put down the wrench and picked up the gun. Sorry about the waterworks. I'm still pretty broke up over Ace. I'm Angie. You kids must be the new recruits old Vargas trained up. Lord, y'all just babies. They all hurt, but this one... Man. Ace wasn't even a ranger. Not first. He worked as a driver and mechanic for Fair and Brigo up in Vegas. When base Cochise started sending its death machines into the desert, Brigo sent Ace south to recruit robot fighters. We met him in quartz. He'd pissed somebody off out there and they'd locked him up. We sorted that out, and he started running with us, helping us fight Cochise, and never stopped. Vargas eventually gave him the uniform and the hat, but I don't think he ever formally signed on. He was just always there. God damn it, Ace. I knew this one was trouble, I knew it. He was working on the same thing Vargas has you working on. Trying to track down radio signals from beyond the edges of the map. All seemed a bit boring and scientific to me. But then Ace started saying he thought someone was following him. I asked him to let me come with him when I met him at Rail Nomads to give him the repeater units. But he told me to go back to base. He said he was just jumping at shadows because those radio broadcasts had spooked him. I should have gone with him. I didn't go with him. I don't really know the details. It's all a bunch of mumbo-jumbo about transmitters and north-south axis and signals bouncing off the clouds. Ask Woodson about it. He's our radio genius. Radio technician Wade Woodson? Sure do. He's the guy that makes sure you can hear Vargas when you're out on patrol. Keeps the machines running and the signal clear. He'll also talk your ear off about circuits and frequencies and I don't know what else if you let him. But be nice to him. He's your lifeline to the base. It'd be a nice little place if the Atchisons and Topekans would kiss and make up. I can't even remember what it's all about, but between them, they got enough old railroad tech that if they worked together, they could give this area a real transportation system. Instead, it seems like all they want to do is blow each other's heads off. Idiots. Ace played me some of them before he died. Hard to make out a lot of it, but what I heard made my hair stand on end. Some guy talking about turning men into machines, or machines into men, or some shit. But the crazy thing was, then he starts talking about us, the Rangers, saying we're the cause of all the trouble in the world, and we need to be wiped out so his glorious future can be born. I mean, who is this guy? Where is he? What the fuck does he have against us? Man, not sure I can recall. Haven't been out that way in ages. Don't even know if it's still on the map. Ask Thrasher, he'd know. You better call him Gilbert now. Funny, back in the day he just seemed like this big old growly bear. Strong as an ox and just about as articulate. But then he got all torn up during our fight with the robots from base Cochise. And he couldn't go out on patrol no more. Any other commander would have handed him his walking papers. But Vargas doesn't dump old friends. So he started him working in the museum. And once you know it, turns out the old bear has a knack for cartography. He's been gradually mapping our little corner of the wasteland ever since. Who'd have thunk it? An old military facility from before the war. And the biggest fight the Rangers ever had. There was some crazy computer in there that kept spitting out robots and sending them off to kill people. We had one hell of a fight putting it down. Earned our stripes that day. Literally. That's when I became Captain Death. Yeah. The base Cochise AI. Don't know what was wrong with it. Broken, I guess. It thought everybody was its enemy. Wanted to kill the whole planet. Sorry, but you are. As cute as little kittens. Y'all remind me of us. Snake, Razor, Thrasher, and me. Back when we were just starting out. Thinking we were gonna save the world for the future. Thinking none of us would ever die. I... Christ, 
sorry. Don't listen to me. Youth is good. Optimism is good. If we all started out worn out and jaded like me, nobody'd ever try to change the world. So you kids go ahead and give it a go. Maybe it'll work this time. <laughs> yep. He was one wild-ass son of a bitch back in the day. But I think the weight of his responsibilities is kind of squashed that out of him now. He hasn't been in a decent bar fight in... shit, a decade, maybe? <laughs> Better than he'd like. Back in the day, the General was the craziest of us all. But somehow, after he brought down Base Cochise, he became the sanest. Now he's running the whole show, and doing a damn fine job. Well, I'm still walking patrols and answering radio calls. Shows you how much ambition I got, huh? He's another one gone. Went out for a patrol a few weeks back and never came home. Don't know if he's dead or AWOL. We're gone off to join the Scorpions. All anybody knows is he hasn't called in, and we haven't heard from anybody who's seen him. I miss all Hellraiser like blazes. Didn't talk much didn't make friends easy. Wasn't big on social graces. But he was as loyal as they come, and when the shit started flying, he was the guy you wanted at your back. He didn't win that name by accident. Sharp as a razor. Scary as hell. You weren't briefed on those fucks during your training? Well, let me fill you in. You know when we left the prison and moved here to the Citadel? Well, the Scorpions were the jerks who moved into the prison when we moved out. Just a bunch of rangers back then, but they've been getting more organized. Call themselves a militia now, and they try to act like they're the desert rangers of eastern Arizona. Well, that's a load of horse shit. The protection racket ain't the same as protecting people. They shake down all their towns for money, and if the locals don't kick in, they smash them up. The rangers aren't like that. We get by on donations and good old-fashioned scavenging. Basically everything between the prison and the radiation clouds to the east. There are a few small towns and farms out there, which the Scorpions claim is their territory. Rangers used to patrol that area before we moved here, and we knew it pretty well. But a lot can change in 15 years. Who knows? Maybe it's all as clean and nice and crime-free as the Scorpions say it is. But I've got my doubts. The edges of the map, kiddies. Big hot areas we can't get into without getting cooked to a crisp. The clouds move around some with the wind and the weather, but there are permanent hot spots on every side of us. North, south, east, and west. Until we started hearing those weird broadcasts, I kind of thought those clouds went on forever, and that Arizona was the last place on Earth. But maybe there's more people out there. <laughs> maybe the whole rest of the world's just fine, and we're the only ones in hell. Wouldn't that be a joke? Say, listen. Vargas asked you to look into Ace's death because he thought I was too upset to be professional about it. He didn't want me going off half-cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. Ace and me, well, we'd been fighting side by side for nigh on 20 years. I'm not letting him die unavenged. So, well, I know it's going against orders, but if you let me tag along and be in at the kill, well... I'll help you find your feet out there. Maybe give you a few pointers along the way. I may be old and slow, but I know the waist's like the back of my hand. What do you say? Cool. No need to tell Vargas why I joined you. If anybody asks, I'm just helping you get oriented, all right? <laughs> 